Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's been so long since I've done one of these. But we have just arrived. What is this place even called? Beach Burnham, Burnham. Burnham Beaches Hotel and Spa. We literally booked it this morning. <laughs> so Jas has got a couple of weeks off work and we are celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary in a few days, which is just absolutely crazy to me. I mean, obviously if there wasn't a pandemic, happening in the world i would have quite liked to go to like bora bora or the maldives or just somewhere a little bit more special than like an hour up the road you know mm. but we're literally about an hour away from home not even that actually just on the outskirts of london we got off the motorway and there was like so many country roads like just thought it was really cool i was like i've got no reception what if our sat nav dies what if we die like a murderer could jump out behind like all these trees and bushes mm. There were country roads, they were like really like, people were driving really fast, but like they were super narrow and like, oh, it was very scary. Luckily, it's like not winter and it's not raining and it's the daytime, so there's light. But yeah, anyway, so we've just checked in. We're just here for two nights, just to get away from it all really. And this hotel is so nice, isn't Thank it? You. I'm actually impressed, very impressed. Normally I'm actually <laughs> inspecting the curtains and what kind of crap. I mean, he says he's impressed, but I when have I, I ever not dust. moaned about something? I'm sorry, I can't see not a single flake of dust here. I know this might be probably used in ages, these rooms, but... So this hotel, I don't know if it's a Laura... It's actually, do, do you know what, actually? It's a Best Western, and I really was not holding out any hope. But this is their premier collection, and it's designed by Laura Ashley. It's all kitted out in Laura Ashley, and as soon as we got into the lift, I was like, wow, this is so Laura Ashley. And what's really weird is when we last did our interiors and decorated our flat, my style was shabby chic, and it was Laura Ashley, and we had the wallpaper, we bought a lot of like shabby chic furniture that was like Laura Ashley inspired, and it was just really cool, and it's like so weird to be here, and like, I actually really love the decor, like I'm really into interiors at the moment, and I'm kind of thinking about interior like design and like redecorating and stuff like that, so I've really been looking into like mid-century modern decor, and this is like quite a nice mix. This is actually very similar to the light fitting in our bedroom, Jess. We have Laura Ashley Light Pendants, do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway. I did like that one. Very impressed. Anyway, we have just got here. We're going to have a look at the menu because we need to let them know if we're having dinner here tonight. And I do think we should, today anyway, because it's very scary going up and down those like country really roads at night time. Yeah. And then maybe tomorrow we can see. But hopefully they have like good vegetarian options. Um, they should do. Yeah, right. Let me give you a quick room tour because I've just taken some photos and I'll be writing a blog post soon, but this will probably go out first. So mm. we've now unpacked a little bit, but let me just show you the bathroom first. Tell me if this is not the bathroom of dreams. I love these tiles. I mean, not these, but these. It's just so nice in here. It's actually quite cold. I love it. I love being too cold rather than too hot. <laughs> We have a wardrobe, so here's our door. We have a wardrobe which we, I always get Jazz to hide the suitcases as soon as we come in so that I can take photos of like a brand new hotel room and then we sort of start to unpack slowly. <laughs> but we have all the usual kettle and like facilities here, a safe which we won't be using. I love this desk area the most. I, as soon as I walked in I was like, is that a Faro and Bull Hague Blue? You know I've been looking at interiors too much when I start to say things like that. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. Love this mirror, love this lamp, love this vintage retro phone. And yeah, so this is the room. Big bed, there's Jas on an armchair in the corner. Love this table we have here. Some suitcase storage, a shelf. And this is our view. We haven't explored the grounds yet, but we're in a prem, are you sure it's not superior? Premier Deluxe or Superior Room? Something like that. It's like the next step up from the most basic, right? Yeah, well, yeah, there's a basic one below this one, yeah. Yes, it's like kind of a middle one. There was a really nice one with a bathtub, like, you know, like a, a freestanding bathtub in the room. So, Jas called them to ask if we could, like, upgrade or, like, because you can bid for rooms here. Jas? Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. I don't know how that bid, works. Or some auction bidding or something for the... 
For the junior suite or something so like that. So you get them for like a lot cheaper than you normally would. Anyway, so he asked if he could do that, but then she was like, oh, we like, our bath, we only have like two rooms with a freestanding bathtub, but half the building is renovated, which is this building, and the other half, I think is like a grade one listed building, so they don't have air conditioning in there, and it's going to be 30 degrees this week. So we were like, no, it's fine. We're happy with the modern room. I don't need a bathtub, which I probably don't use anyway. I just want the air con. And I'm not a big fan of like these old school hotel rooms with like original features they just feel really dusty and like you know so yeah we're very happy with this room and this is like a first for us to not find something to moan about <laughs> and yeah we're gonna go and explore in a bit hmm. Jas has just spotted that they are normally supposed to have more stuff in the room like towels pillows drinks slippers and all this sort of stuff but obviously at the moment, because of COVID, they haven't got in the rooms, but you can ask for it. So that's quite a good thing. Nespresso. Extra pillows. I always need extra pillows. <laughs> you can never have oh. too many. <laughs> I'd quite like slippers, actually. I love a good, like, hotel room, bathrobe and slippers. <laughs> I'm not taking the piss. I just like these <laughs> things, okay? <laughs> so we're in room 162. But I like that the corridors aren't super long because the last hotel we stayed in I kept saying like we're walking to Australia mm. it felt like we were literally walking to a different country and also <laughs> so random but I love this console table they have one like between every few rooms this is what I mean by the lift <laughs> isn't it so nice I mean it's not my style anymore oh the squeaky floors but it literally is like Laura and Ashley threw up in here Mm. Isn't it, Chas? Yeah. Oh, I don't like all those squeaky floors everywhere. Wow. This is nice. Are people allowed to get married now? I think so. What's the deal called? Eat out to help out scheme. Oh my god, it is so cold now. We literally didn't bring any coats with us, but we're having a tea, no, a coffee, not a tea, what am I talking about? Outside, the sun is quite far away from Hello, the building. Is that the Italian? Rockstar. I'm just pouring my milk in, hoping it doesn't curdle. Um, if anyone else has soy milk, can you tell me why it always curdles in coffee? I don't think this has. No. Anyway, they're doing like a, like one menu as opposed to three that they normally have at the moment because of COVID and whatever, but I mean, spinach, mushroom, pe pasta, or margarita pizza is just not gonna cut it, I'm afraid. So we're just looking for somewhere to go for dinner. It's the following day. What day is it today? Tuesday. Wednesday? I don't know, it's the next day. Last night was very eventful. We spent ages looking for a restaurant. Currently, the government has this like scheme called eat out to help out yeah and it's to like try and like encourage people incentivize people if you like to eat out in restaurants and like plunge some money into yeah, like, it's meant to support the hospitality blah 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 anyway so it's great it's like 50 percent off up to a certain amount at certain restaurants that participate so we thought this is great because it's only on monday to wednesday throughout the whole of august and yesterday was Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. So we're like, this is perfect. Turns out there is like, we're out in the sticks. There's nothing here. The restaurants that do participate close at like, what was it? Like they're only open for lunch or they close yeah. at like 8 p.m. They're like, oh, we're already closed. Our kitchen's closed. We found like one restaurant that was open to 11 p.m. So we tried to go there and it was like such a long drive away, but it was in the city centre, there was no parking anywhere. We drove round and round for ages. We were both basically really pissed off and starving and it was getting really late. We were also really cold because we didn't bring a jacket, it's meant to be a heat wave this week. And so we ended up going to a McDonald's like, Yep. drive through which is not food I mean McDonald's are participating God knows why they need the money but that's a whole different story so we got like <laughs> two McDonald's meals for about five but it wasn't quite what we had in mind I'm getting ready in case it, that wasn't obvious we were up like by what eight o'clock this morning went downstairs for breakfast breakfast here was really nice actually it's table service because of Covid they don't do like the buffet at the moment but that was fine it was actually really nice mm. really nice like breakfast room as well but then i went straight back to bed because i have the world's worst period pain 
and Jess went for, where did you go? Do you want to tell them? I went for a walk, nature reserve. Well, you drove there, didn't you? Well, it's about, it's about a 20 minute walk or a five minute drive or something. So he drove to like, this nature reserve and then walked around and when he came back, he was like, you're actually lucky you didn't come. You wouldn't have liked it because he was showing me his legs. He's been stung by stinging nettles and there was like... There's some really killer ants there. Like, I'd literally crawl up you. I don't like stuff like that. It's, it's actually not bad. It was, it's actually a good walk, but you, if you stand still for literally one second, kid you not, like a load of ants just like trying to crawl, crawl up your leg. That's disgusting. Mad. You have to be like, always so on the move on there, yeah. And that was like any spot I walked into. Yeah, so basically, no, I'm glad I didn't go. Although, I don't know what's worse a load of killer ants crawling up your leg or dying of period pain. But this hotel room was very nice. I had like a really nice, like, half an hour snooze. And now I'm just getting ready because we've actually booked afternoon tea here. So this is a Laura Ashley hotel, I figured out. I don't know why it's also called a Best Western. Maybe it's like a joint. Thingy. Why does my hair look weird here? But they have a Laura Ashley tea room downstairs, which we walked past and it looks very nice. So we've booked afternoon tea and they are participating in the 50% off. I don't even know how much it costs actually, we didn't check that bit, but we thought we'd have afternoon tea here so that we don't have to have lunch and we don't need to leave for lunch. Cause it's kind of lunch, isn't it? And then we'll figure out what we do for dinner tonight, but I kind of just want to stay in the hotel all day. It's such a nice, like, it's not often that I just love a hotel room. Like, I love the decor. It's so nice and airy, and I absolutely love that because most hotels are dark and dingy. You can't do your makeup. I mean, we've got all the lights on at the moment, and they don't really make much difference. It's a really bright and sunny day, but I just really, really like this hotel. It was quite pricey to, like, stay here, like, full price. But we got like, because we booked it really last minute, like yesterday morning, just before, like a few hours before we arrived. And we booked it through Secret Escapes, right? Yep. This one, yeah. So we got it for less than half price. Like, we paid less for two nights than we would have done per night here. If I had have paid full price, I wouldn't, like, it wouldn't be that great. I wouldn't be that happy paying full price because it said the pool was open, so we bought swimwear with us. And it turns out the pool's not open. And I get that obviously with COVID, things are changing on a daily basis. So they thought it would be open. But it's a shame that their website didn't say that. Either way, you know, we didn't pay full price. And I really like the room. And it's just a really nice, cosy bed. Pillows are not that great. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm happy. Are you happy? Yep. Right, I'm going to go do my makeup properly. And we are going to head down to afternoon tea in about an hour. So I'll take you with me. Let's see where Nishi is. There you are. <laughs> Spritzing some Bulgari jasmine perfume. Yep, oh, time to go for green tea. Not green tea, <laughs> afternoon tea. <laughs> How nice is this tea room? So Laura Ashley, like I absolutely love the decor in here. So I kind of forgot to vlog the food because I was taking photos. There's Jess. We had four sandwiches each. This is, um, they're pretty much the same though, right? Except for yours. You had ham and something, and I had aubergine, pesto and courgette, which was actually very nice, but very oily. I'm saving my best till last. Cream cheese and cucumber is what I think it is. <laughs> Tea dress. I was actually quite impressed with it. The scones were so nice. They were really like buttery and flaky and like really fresh. They were really, really nice. The sandwiches were good. I had to take the raisins out because like who on earth enjoys that? It's got very quiet in here, but um, I cannot even. You said this was nice, right? Coffee. I like all of them except for the square one. Mm. such a fun little lazy day after afternoon tea which is very nice by the way don't think i vlogged it much because i was too busy taking photos 
um, and I've actually written a blog post about it. So as soon as we ate afternoon tea, we came back up, Jess had a little nap, so did I. Cool. We read our books and hang on, where are we going? Yeah. On the floor. And then I wrote my blog post and I've literally finished my blog post on the afternoon tea. I'm gonna try and get the photos sorted later. But now we're off for dinner. I have a secret to tell you guys. What's that? Not you, oh. no. <laughs> In a minute, we're about to watch with the lobby. Let's watch with the lobby first and I'll tell them. Okay, it's actually raining here which we didn't anticipate. I thought I could hear it from our room, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so it's actually raining outside, which is not good for curly haired Nisha. I washed my hair today, and I actually used the hotel shampoo, and I really like what it's done to my hair. Like, it's very um super curly, which it normally isn't. Anyway, we have a secret to tell you guys. What is a secret? Because I don't know myself. We smell. What? Don't we? No! Oh, about smelling. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> during lockdown, I've been trying to use up all my products at home and not buy products, and I've used up a lot of hair products, as you would have seen if you watched my empties video. And one of the things I ran out of was deodorant. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I need to buy some. But then, because I forgot for a couple of days, mm. I always have like a toiletry bag just packed in life because you know i'm never normally at home for this period of time and so i just took out my deodorant from my travel toiletry bag and i've just been using that at home so this morning i was like oh no i haven't got a deodorant and i kind of forgot to tell you so we're going out for breakfast then i fell asleep <laughs> and all that and then just now as we're leaving for the restaurant i was like just you got deodorant mine's run out as well <laughs> so i'm not saying we smell as in we had to shower and stuff but yeah, yeah obviously and like... i've got aftershave so i put on but I know what you mean, like, but it I just a bit weird feel without... smelly with the, without deodorant. I know, I normally put deodorant on every time I go out, so like, Maybe yeah, I'm not sure about I that. need like a good, like, industrial strength spray. Well, especially this one, I just want to feel fresh. Do you know what well, I mean? I think you need it because, like, it's we haven't sweated, like, we've just been like lounging around all day in the room. Yeah, well, I did actually go for a nature reserve tour. Oh, earlier. you did. Well, I didn't say a tour, but my own little tour it was. <laughs> Nearly got lost. And, uh, yeah, he sent me his location on WhatsApp for his own benefit. Yeah, I could have got lost, you know. That was quite funny. Yeah, it was quite big. But yeah. So we took a shortcut. Well, no, purposely took a long cut through the woods. <laughs> not through the woods what's that called the car park thought we'd go for a bit of a walk and this is our hotel it looks really nice from here doesn't it yep and there's like rolling hills not really it's like one maybe two it's all just dead it's very peaceful we look lost <laughs> those are basically the restaurants down there where everyone's going to watch us because there's nothing else to look at in there <laughs> They're gonna look at us walking down. What like are zombies. they doing? <laughs> so basically, this nice building is like the original Grade One listed building. This is a reception area, and this is like the not so nice building we're in. That's obviously decorated really nicely. Let's walk around here because yeah. our room's at that end of the corridor. Yeah. yeah? It's literally our room up there with the windows open and the lights on <laughs> but we could actually walk through there and then open the door that's currently locked that says like leisure or whatever and surprise everyone and be like how the hell did you two get in here but we have to go up this way and walk back around right here's my corn and breakfast <laughs> Just I'm upset. Why? <laughs> you don't look upset. <laughs> I look awful. Like, my skin is breaking out everywhere. Um, I've got no makeup on. We it's like 11 a.m. now, so we're ready to check out. We've just got an hour's drive home, so we're gonna go home. I want to wash my hair and everything again because it's a bit frizzy. I'm gonna like do something to my face because it is just so awful at the moment. So I've just got a bit of concealer. I'm gonna take it all off and start getting it home because then we have a table booked somewhere for our actual anniversary. But this table for later on, we booked it ages ago. This hotel thing was just a last minute thing. So we're gonna have a few hours at home and then we're gonna head out for dinner. So we're just not gonna have lunch today because we had breakfast, right? Yep. 
crappy breakfast. Sad times, eh, Jess? Sad times. Sad times. Let's go. It's coming up to like 3.30 p.m. We haven't had lunch, so we're feeling very hungry. It's because we've got dinner booked for 5 p.m. I found this like pod thing. It's like a pod where you sit outdoors and you can have a pod for up to two, no, for between two to, I don't know, six or eight people. But you pay per person and you get dinner. I think you get the pod for the whole night because they can't like clean it all every few hours at the moment. So we had already booked there to have dinner today but we booked like at the earliest possible time because we wanted to get there early and take a few nice photos when it'd be warm it's quite overcast today but it is quite hot and muggy i'm just painting my nails because my nails are awful i've done one hand we were thinking if we leave at about 3 30 we've got about half an hour to spare i guess before we get there and just wander around i think it's like in a hotel and annoyingly this hotel i think has an outdoor pool but I couldn't find it on TripAdvisor and they couldn't find their website. So maybe they're not open yet, like to book, because it would have been quite nice to stay at this hotel instead, even though the Laura Ashley one we just stayed in was like super nice. But you know, it would have been quite nice to stay here if we're going to eat here as well. Is anyone else just like the worst at painting their own nails? I absolutely hate painting my own nails and I'm terrible at it. It looks like a five year old has had a go, but. I'd rather this than have unpainted nails. I just can't bear the sight of my nails. It's really weird. Anyway, that is me ready. So we're gonna go and I will take you with me as always. Oh my god, we walked all the way round in this heat and I thought we were locked in because even on the side they've got this and obviously we can't squeeze through that. But luckily, this guy found a way so we don't have to walk all the way around the building again. Truss is doing a nishi. I'm doing a nishi, yep. It's actually taking my shoes off. Where are your shoes? Oh, you're right there. Yeah. Now do you feel like a woman? Yeah, I do. We are home and we're in a massive food coma. Dinner was really nice, wasn't it? Yep, it was sure nice. So we went to a place <laughs> called 1876. 1876, I think. It's a restaurant that's inside a hotel, except for the hotel hasn't been a hotel for quite a few years. It used to be a hotel, but now it they just use it as a wedding venue and they're maybe opening it up as a hotel again. It's all very weird, but it's in like a really nice setting. It's in Hertfordshire. We booked it ages ago, because I saw it on social media, and it was, you dine in a pod, and I didn't know anything about it. I just sort of suggested it to Jas, and he just booked it. And then when we arrived, we noticed that it's a minimum £100 spend per pod. So you have to have between two and six people in there. So we were like, we're not gonna spend £100 on food, like two people, that's ridiculous it wasn't that expensive and it's a minimum 100 pound whether you go for like with two of us or if we had four more people with us so we were like can we cancel it and to be fair because you can dine in their restaurant and there's no minimum spend the lady did show us around a pod and we were gonna sit in and she was like oh let's sit inside let me take some photos of you so we did and oh my god it was like a sauna in those pods like it's 31 degrees today or 33 or something it's boiling hot and just like two minutes sat in there taking a photo like the whole of Jasper's shirt was like drenched at the back and I was sweating everywhere it was disgusting so we just decided to eat in the restaurant like like a regular 
customer and we noticed that loads of people were then coming in so then obviously sat in the pod ordered drinks and then just like no sod it we're eating indoors the food was actually really nice we ordered a ton of starters all vegetarian just got one fish thing and yeah it was all very nice so all in all it's been a great day have you had a nice anniversary Jess? Yeah, it's been good, yeah. <laughs> we're in a food coma. I cannot wait to take this jumpsuit off. It's like a really fitted one and after eating a ton of Indian food it just feels very, very tight. I take my makeup off, do a face mask and yeah, it's only like, it's only just gone eight o'clock so we've still got like a whole evening pretty much. So we're just going to chill now. I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye. Bye.